Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Jim Grazanzio from Oracle, and tonight we're talking OCI, that's Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. We're going to talk about free tier tonight, and I'm here with Rex Wang, who is the Vice President of Developer Marketing at Oracle, and Alok Sanghavi, who is a Product Manager on the OCI team. Gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to the program. Great to be here. Good to be here, too. It's nice to see you a look for the first time. I this is the first time we're meeting here virtually, and uh, so it's nice to meet you. And Rex, I've known you for many years now, so it's, you know, it's obviously good to see you as well. Great so, to you um, tell me, um, Oracle Cloud Free Tier, what's going on here? There's some new stuff coming out here. Yeah, Free Tier is uh, is uh, an exciting area, and. You know, what's new is we've actually announced or launched 12 new always free services in the last 12 months. So that expands our portfolio. You know, always free services, these are these are services that never expire. And you can continue to use them beyond the 30-day trial. We now have over 20 always free services. Um, and ever since we launched them a few years ago, these have been among the most popular offerings that we have. 20. Okay, so there's 12 just this year and... 20 altogether. Yeah. Um, you know, for example, we have a number of these always free services ranging from compute, storage, networking, databases, uh, security, uh, observability, and management. Um, for example, in the last 12 months, we launched a brand new ARM based Ampere compute service, uh, JSON and NoSQL databases. We have a flexible load balancer and um, a logging service and an application performance monitoring service as well. So these are among the, the, the new services that are always free in the last 12 months. Okay, so always always is forever. Always actually means always, right? Yeah, that's, that's what, uh, hopefully it's uh, obvious what that means. Always free is indeed always free, never expires. I should mention too that always free is actually available for our paying customers as well as our uh, non, you know, free trial customers, non-paying customers. Excellent, excellent, cool. All right, so um, what um, what's different about Oracle's offering here in terms of always free versus, um, you know, what what you know other vendors offer? Just exactly what actually are we offering with always free? Yeah, so. Um I would say Oracle's always free offering is the most generous, if not uh, the, the the best service out uh, the offering out there um, in the industry compared to some of our competitors. These are a set of services which never expire. A uh, user does not have to uh, create a new tenancy every time or sign up after if they want to uh, try using those services for running their workloads after say six months down the lane or a year down the lane. Uh, we recently launched uh, services um, in the compute space, uh, which Rex just mentioned, the ARM-based Ampere A1 compute. Um, we partnered with Ampere Computing to release the uh, industries, uh, uh, some of the uh, first uh, few offerings in the industry. Um, and this um, uh, this this really solidifies our, um, our our positioning in the in the ARM ecosystem where developers can build run um, ARM based workloads. Uh, the Ampere even platform really gives deterministic performance. It helps you scale your workloads linearly, and it's a very secure architecture with the best priced performance in the market. Um, the Oracle. And the Oracle all free tier, always free tier offering uh, gives four cores and 24 gigs in memory, which is the most generous in the industry. So if you're a developer, you want to run your ARM-based workload, um, run, say, for example, an ML inferencing algorithm, uh, an image or a speech recognition algorithm, and want to run it uh, on cloud native, like create Kubernetes clusters, create a Jenkins CI CD pipeline, and store those images in the um, Oracle, the OCIR registry, um, you can actually do so with these uh, with these uh, always free resources. And that is not available uh, provided in the free tier offerings by our, by our customer, by our competitors. And again, these are offerings which never expire. They're always there. So similar, so, uh, so the, the, the compute offering, the ARM offering is 
uh, has was recently released. Uh, it's it's uh, and along with that, we also increased our uh, block storage offering to 200 gigabytes. This is compared to AWS offers 30 gigabytes free for 12 months. Uh, and uh, with autonomous databases as well, uh, developers can create two autonomous databases with 20 gigs each in all those free versus the AWS RDS, which is free for 12 months or Redshift, which is also free for only two months. Wow, that, that actually sounds like a lot. <laughs> So I'm glad I asked. So yeah, I mean, we, there's some really serious uh, yeah. computing you can do. You know, you can build real apps. Uh, it's not just uh, try a little taste. So I think it's among the most generous in the industry. Yeah, that that definitely sounds like it. So just expand a little bit more. Look, you actually mentioned some of these things, but Rex, why don't you flush this out a little bit about what exactly you can you do with all these services? I'm a developer. I'm a customer. So I want to get my hands. Get, I want to get my hands dirty. You know, how do I start and what can I do? Well, um, the, the set of services that we're offering as always free are really general purpose. They range from, you know, x86 computing to ARM computing, storage, block object storage, archive storage, uh, a variety of databases, including our flagship autonomous databases, our NoSQL database, our JSON database. Um, you know, there's observability uh, offerings like uh, logging and APM. So this set of services enable you to do a lot of different things, whether it is developing and testing new applications. Um, you can try automated deployment uh, with Terraform. Uh, we offer a new Apex offering, Application Express, that allows you to build low-code apps, so without any code at all. Um, I mentioned earlier no SQL and JSON. So if you're using uh, uh, you know key value pairs or JSON documents, those are great use cases for us. Um, and analytics, you know, Alok mentioned how much we're offering with four cores, 24 gig of memory, 200 gig of block. That that's enough to do some serious uh, machine learning, data science, analytic type type stuff as well. So um, you know, there, there's really a variety of things. Um, you can even uh, run WordPress or, you know, throw up a Minecraft server if you wanted to. <laughs> what what types of things that, like, for instance, is Oracle, Oracle using? Like, I understand that, you know, we use these things, you know, use these services at events and things like that. Yeah, um, certainly, you know, I, I'm in marketing and we put on a lot of events for developers. So we make heavy use of uh, Always Free inside of our events where we offer uh, hands-on labs, for example. So we encourage people, hey, try this always free service and, and it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, another example would be hackathons. You know, uh, we've run internal hackathons at Oracle, but we also run uh, or help support external hackathons and always free is, is just great for that. Yeah, in fact, I was just, um, I've just been doing some interviews um, with this World Innovation Day hackathon series from Hackmakers. Um, and it's actually a startup you know, company and they run hackathons. And the Oracle team from Asia has been deeply involved with them. And so they, you know, again, it's database, it's OCI, and it's, you know, Apex. Those are the, those are the ones that everyone, you know, everyone seems to go to. Um, and, you know, there were 4,000 people there at this event over 72 hours. And Oracle was a main, you know, obviously was a main, you know, sponsor of the event. So it's good to see it's getting used. Um, yeah, for sure. You know, uh, students is another type of um, user that we are offering this to. And, you know, there's a lot of developers out there who are just looking to learn, right? They're looking to uh, improve their skills, to, uh, to get some hands-on experience, to help them with their career. Um, it may not be a real project, it's just sort of a learning thing. And, and Always Free is perfect for that. Yeah. Alok, what do you think about the growth here? I mean, you guys have been, um, you, you've announced a lot of a lot of services in the last year. I mean, is this a growth trend that you can expect to continue? <laughs> yeah, so we've been hearing from our customers, developers um, that, uh, they really like the free tier. We are seeing a lot of uh, usage and consumption. Um, and given the fact these are services, you know, any like a hobbyist and open source developer can come try it out Good uh, for an extended period of time. They are, they are very popular. So our goal is to keep 
adding more services as we go down the lane. At the same time, we want to um, have always free services which are really meaningful for the user and it really helps them to build something uh, meaningful, whether it's a low code app or do a, like, uh, do a dev test type of use case, uh, run cloud native. Um, I think so these are some of the things which I think um, we are really focusing on. How do we make the lives of developers easier? And the always free is, is uh, what I believe is the perfect place to try that before um, you decide to, hey, I want to start, be, start being a paid user. Right. Well, I think you guys have done a great job from just observing, you know, from my seat, sort of actually just observing this. Um, I go to a lot of conferences. I talk to a lot of people. Obviously, recently it's now it's all virtual. Um, but everyone's talking about OCI now. So that's really cool. Congratulations for that. So where can people go to get uh, signed up and get involved? Yeah, um, anyone can sign up. It's very easy. Just go to oracle.com slash free and sign up for our free cure. It includes these always free services as well as a 30-day trial. Um, and, and then after you do that, you can actually try out some of our hands-on labs. We have a whole bunch of these, what we call live labs. And, uh, and, and these live labs can use these always free services. So, so check out our live lab. You can Google for that. Uh, and you can also find that on GitHub as well. But uh, sign up for free cure at oracle.com slash free. That's excellent. Yeah, I'm actually going to try some of those labs myself because I've been seeing, you know, I've been a part of the uh, Dev Live series and uh, I've been seeing people actually work through these things. So I'm going to do some myself. Rex, Alok, thanks a lot for joining me tonight and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Jared. Thank you. Thank you.